If you want to burn off a thousand calories in your chest workout, this is the workout to do. It's a circuit. Now you may not have all the pieces of equipment here, so become creative with what you do have, maybe with resistance bands, maybe with some plates, whatever you have, you can use that as a resistance. Maybe feed bags for bench press, who knows? But the circuit that I did today, starting with the heaviest movement that I have available to me, I've got some 85 pound dumbbells and that is it. So I used that for bench press after I kind of warmed up. Now you notice I was doing it on a tire here as opposed to the box that I'm sat on is because I can get a fuller range of motion if I sit on or lie on the end of the tire. If I'm on this press, this box, because it's so wide, it's just like doing a floor press. So I wanted to get a fuller range of motion. That tread doesn't feel too good in my back, to be honest with you, it's digging in, but it's right. Um, so I went to failure there. I think it's around 20 reps, something like that. And then as soon as I finished there, I came straight onto this box, had my arms out very wide, just holding some plates and getting some flies in there. Now you'll notice that I wasn't going all the way in at the top because the tension does release from the pecs there. So there's no point in me going all the way up. I could rest there all day. I want to keep constant tension pl applied to the pecs. So again, I knocked out about 20 reps there. Once I was done with that, I grabbed hold of a 20, uh, pound, a 20 kilo plate here and I just grabbed it in tight like that. And I pressed it out. I think it's called like an ax press. So I just pushed those out as many as I could, which is probably about only eight or 10. And then when I had done with that, I went onto the resistance band, sat on the floor, making sure the resistance bands are at the bottom of the pillow or the support, wherever you have them. And the cables come underneath the forearms so you can press up and target your upper pecs with that. So that's what I did. And as soon as I've done that, I used that like a pre-fatigue method. So then I came back to the box where I had my feet elevated so again, I could target the upper pecs, which is like an incline press. And I was fatiguing pretty quick. You know, you just go to absolute failure on every one of these sets. Once I reached failure there, I knew that I was gonna be a little bit stronger with the mid fibers of my pecs. So I did a flat press, a flat push up, I should say. Once I reached failure there, I knew I'd have a little bit left in the tank for the lower pecs. So I had my feet on the floor, but my hands placed uh, on the box here, and I did some presses there to target um, the uh, lower oh, pegs. After I did that circuit, I went straight onto the tire and I just hit it for a minute. So keeping the heart rate up during this process, that's like your active recovery, consider it your active recovery. It's not targeting your pecs so much, maybe a little bit your delts and your triceps. Do like 10 on one side, 10 on the other, and that's about a minute. And uh, then you just start again. So you do 10 circuits in total, that'll take you an hour. It'll take you an hour, and in that hour, you should have burnt at least a thousand calories. So it's a good way to really target your pecs. But you know, while you're stationary at home, maybe you can't get out to do your cardio, or whatever. Or you just want to be efficient and get it all done. That's the way to be efficient, baby. Thousand calories, but a great pec workout uh, in the meantime. But if you like this video, you've got to let me know what you want. Some more? Do you want some more videos? Let me know. Comment below. Peace.